this video we'll look at how to edit the scores for a completed assignment in the classes and assignments section. In this example, one of my students showed me her end of assignment report. She thinks that question 6 is incorrect and that she should receive a point for it. After reviewing the question, I see that answer D is the correct answer and agree to give her a point. To edit the scores for an assignment, first open your class in Classes and Assignments. Then click the Pencil menu. Then click Edit Scores. In the Edit Scores dialog box, you can select a student in the Students pane to see their answers. Since the question was obviously wrong, I'm going to give a point to every student that got the question wrong. I've set this assignment to scramble, so the erroneous question could be in different places for each student, and I'll need to identify the question before changing the score. Betsy Harrison only got one question wrong, so that's probably the bad question, but I'll check to be sure. I can click the magnifying glass next to question 5 to preview it and verify that it's the question I'm looking for. I can see this is the question I want. Now I'll edit the score. To edit the score for a question, click the Edit link. The score field for the question will be enabled and I can add a point to that question. To record the score change, click Update. Then click the next student in the list. It looks like the bad question is question 9 in this student's test, but I'll check to be sure. I'll click Edit for question 9 and update the score. After you're finished editing scores, click Done to return to Classes and Assignments. When you're editing scores, you're changing the points awarded for a question. You're not affecting the student's responses. We can see this by going to the Reports section and opening the Question Item Analysis Report for the rescored assignment. I'll select the assignment I just graded and click OK. I can click the magnifying glass next to question 9 to verify it's the bad question. If we look at the correct answers, we can see that C is set as the correct answer, but all the students answered D. That clearly indicates that the question is wrong. It's important to keep the student's response information because it indicates the problem with the question. The class average for this question is 100%, because I gave all the students a point for the question. So the students' responses and the class average let me know that there was a problem with the question and that I changed the grades manually. In the test generator, you can add a rubric to essay questions. For this particular essay, I'm grading students on both their grammar and the factual accuracy of their answer. I'll award points on the number of grammar errors they have, as well as how many components of the theory they include. Each criteria in the rubric is scored on a two-point scale, and therefore the question is worth four points. In my essay assignment, notice that the assignment is read and that the Needs Manual Scoring column indicates that I have open-ended questions that need to be graded. There is an asterisk next to the students' names indicating that they have questions that need to be graded. When I click Edit, the first criteria of my rubric, which is the grammar criteria, displays. I read the student's response and it doesn't have any grammar errors, so I'll give them two points. Then I can click Next to move on to the other criteria in the rubric. This criteria deals with the facts of the essay. The student's response has the three elements I'm looking for, so I'll give them two points for that criteria. When I'm finished grading the question, I'll click OK. Notice that the student has four points out of four because of how I scored the rubric. Now I can click another student and walk through the rubric again. This student's grammar is fine, but they only have two of the three elements I'm looking for, so I'll give them one point for the second criteria. 
Based on the rubric, they only receive three out of four points. Let's look at one more student. This student has a lot of misspellings, so I'm not going to give them any points for grammar. They only have two of the elements I'm looking for, so they only get one point for that criteria. Based on the rubric, they only receive one point out of four. Notice that when I finish grading all the open-ended questions, the assignment is no longer read and the Needs Manual Scoring column says no. And that's an overview of the different ways to edit scores for assignments. Music